Hello and welcome to this video. In the next few minutes, I'll show you how to sign up for a free web hosting account using a service called uh, 000webhost. That's three zeros, webhost.com. It's already typed up there. I'll go to the site and uh, I'm going to click on the red button on the top right, free sign up. I will provide in an email. I'm using a uh, not my main email, but one that I still have access to. It's uh, eccidtprof at gmail.com. I'll select a password at this time. I would recommend writing it down and keeping it safe. Don't lose it because this is going to be your access point to the free website. The website name, I'll see if I can pick a unique name. And I think that ECC, well, yes, sure, why not? ECC IDT Prof. You'll see that it's typing up below that ECC IDT Prof. Dot zero 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 webhost app dot com is the end of that. This will be my new URL. I'll click on the check mark at free hosting and uh, wait for it to confirm that that website is open and that I can claim it. Once uh, it finishes doing that and makes a decision, I would expect that it sends me a uh, an email to confirm that I am who I claim to be. And this is taking a little bit longer than I expected it to, so I'm going to go check my email. And actually, yes, it says please confirm your email address for registration. And uh, it tells me Bravo ECC IDT Prof. Uh, you have just joined 00webhost.com. I'll click on the verify email. And it tells me congratulations, email's been verified. I'll close that tab that I had open before. Tell it to log in. And my login is the email that I use ECC IDT Prof at gmail.com my password is the password I selected and I'll click login and do you want Google Chrome to save your password uh, if you're using this at home sure I would say to save it if you're using it at a school computer I would either say save yes because it'll forget it or never so that it doesn't bug you again you could just X out as well I am in a home computer, so I'll click on save. And once again, I will say that I don't want to go pro. I'm going to learn. And I see then that I am almost done. Complete your profile and be rewarded. ECC IDT Prof is running. That is my website. And let's see if that means what I think it means. I'm going to click open a new tab. Type in ICC or rather ECC IDT Prof dot zero 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 web host app dot com and it says where your free website has been started so this is my website as it stands right now they have published a uh, page for me um, and I will, I will be replacing this momentarily. In the meantime, this is great because it tells me that it's working. I'll go back to my website list here and click on details. And this is going to be very important information that you want to keep. Um, I've been active since this date. Um, the access to my website is the email that I just typed in eccidtprof.000 webhostapp.com. Yours will be whatever your username that you selected uh, plus dot zero 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 webhostapp.com. And uh, let's see, I don't need statistics, but let's just say that I have a lot of bandwidth and disk space, and I actually even have an email that I probably won't be using. This is information that you also need to write down and uh, your instructor will give you instructions on how to contact your FTP uh, using a client. Your host is files.00webhost.com. Your username is the one that's been assigned to you. 
uh, your password, even though here it says change password, that is going to be the one that I asked you to write down and your home directory. This is going to be important when you set up your FTP client. It's going to be slash storage slash blah, 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 etc. This is going to be unique to you. This is my, my particular username and my home directory. Uh, folder to upload files to is going to be public HTML and it just here recommends some things uh, to use as FTP clients. Your instructor or your class will have more instructions on what FTP is, how to use it. Uh, just know that 00webhost.com does have an online web file manager. So if you click on this, you would actually be able to see your files. It tells me here that I can upload files now uh, to this address. I would be able to just uh, uh, get an index.html or other HTML file and just drop it into this box and up it would go. So with this information, you should be ready to uh, go and uh, publish FTP websites in this free website. And rather than just uh, leaving you hanging, I'm going to create a very quick uh, website or web page rather. So I'm going to bring in my Notepad++ from outside the window and uh, I'll type the simplest of websites. Somewhere here I have a shortcut for W3Schools. Well, I didn't want to do it in that window, but I'll do it in a new tab. You can type in this code. I'm just going to copy and paste it. Pressing Control C, closing this. Um, I'm still in the file manager and I'm just saying that I want to learn. I have the window open and in my notepad I'll paste what I just copied. Just basically declaring it as an HTML, opening up the HTML tag body my first heading uh, here I'll just say something like hello world and I'll put in a paragraph I'll change this text to my page is live and save it file save as and I'll put it on my desktop I'll call it index.html Close this, minimize that, and it's actually saved on my desktop there. So I'll go to upload, upload files now. It's taking me to the file manager. This looks very much like an FTP client. It's already on a public HTML. So I'll click on the upload files icon. Tell it to select files. I saved it on the desktop, so here's index.html. I'll click open and tell it to upload. Now that that's happened, oh, if I go back to my eccidtprof.00, etc., and I reload this page, then I'll see the file that I just uploaded. Hello world, my page is live. So you should be able to still use uh, your FTP client of choice. Uh, there's lots of free ones uh, for your class. Uh, we recommend FileZilla, although uh, there's also WS FTP Pro. There's uh, several options that you have. Uh, if all else fails, you'll always have access to your files through the files uh, manager that web host provides. If you have any questions, please contact your instructor and uh, and we'll help you get your pages published.